Hello, my wonderful, wonderful family and my friends. Love you guys today. You know, how have your day went? You know, if with the weather changed and everything, it's not as beautiful out here as it was last week. And there's so much, so much stuff going on. Um, I've been listening to the radios and I've been watching Facebook. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are all aware of um, what's going on with um, Trayvon Martin. I am so sorry um, to the family and the friends, um, you guys, that I've been getting his name wrong. I've been calling him Trayvon, but I, I love the children. I love my children. And um, I... Today, right as here. we were going, yes, we were. Um, um, today, as we were um, going out to take care of some business, we were in a car and I, we had the radio on. And WGCI had aired and said that the Black Panthers were putting out a million dollar contract on this asshole that murdered Trayvon Martin. And I was like, yes, yes yes and yes yes again and that later on that evening they had callers to call in and place their opinions and one of the young ladies were saying you know I don't think that they should be doing all of this and they're all this coverage and woo woo this and that and you know because there's so much black on black crime and woo 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 and my thing is I understand where you're coming from I even understand where you're going but you have to understand that those two things are not the same. They are not the same. Yes, we fight with each other. We argue with each other. Yes, we kill each other just like white folks kill white folks and things like that. But we have been oppressed for so many years and hardly any of us stand up for each other. You have the Koreans, all of them get together and stand up for each other. You have the Hispanics and all of them, they will get together and they will all stand up for each other in a heartbeat. You have other cultures, you have the um, Indian, Pakistanians and the Indians and all of them that all get together and the Afro-Americans are the only ones that will not stand together. There is two times that I can say where we really got off our asses and really took a stand and show people that we know how to be united. And that was when we voted to get Obama in and that's when um, this issue had happened with Trayvon Martin being murdered. I said to my husband, wow, we sure know how to get up and back each other when we need to. And, you know, some of the points the young lady hit is right. We should back each other all the time when one of our children is getting hurt, when um, one of our moms and husbands and family members and something is going wrong. We need to take a stand and we need to all back each other then. Um, I do a lot, a lot of charity. I go in my pocket. I go in my house. I have my husband help me out and everything. And I post a lot of it on Facebook and YouTube. And I do videos like this. And there's very seldom that I can get a response from anyone to help other family members. I've also done, you heard me, heard me done my um, charity Dollar Day Friday. And that's where every Friday... You know you blow money, we blow money all the time, that I ask one person to donate a dollar out of their pocket to help a needy family, a needy child, for whatever. You don't even have to give me the dollar per se. You can go get some school supplies, you can go and find something. Um, I'm going to call Leroy Mama see if Leroy wait. Okay. Um, that's my baby. But you can take that dollar and go buy no, something right here. that would be in need no, for no, another. We have the dollar store. There's plenty of things. There's toothpaste. There's feminine products. There's lotion powder. There's noble pants paper. There's so much stuff that you can do when you can take that one dollar and say, you know what? Here, Gina, give this to a kid that's in need. Excuse me. Excuse me. Shh. 
take this and give this to this needy child. And we never pull together for things like that. People are like, oh, no, oh, no, no, I don't have it. I don't want to do this, and I don't want to do that. Well, it's time for everyone to take a stand. And like she, the young lady said, not just for this one particular thing with Trayvon Martin, but for overall, the overall um, um, picture for everyone, for um, the young lady in Chicago, um, that the, um, um, the, the off-duty police officer, murdered in cold blood you know we should be taking a stand for her you know they they talking about now cell phones is 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 you know is an issue is a prize a weapon now you know let's send all of our unused cell phones to that police department for this young lady there's so much that we all can do and that we should do in pulling together for um 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 our, our family, our children, for everyone overall as, as a whole, not just, you know, this one particular, you know, incident. My heart goes out to Trayvon's family and everyone. My heart goes out um, to, um, I think her name is Rakia, um, excuse me if, if I got the name wrong, um, but the young lady from Chicago, my heart goes out to her family and everyone. And I, I just want you guys to think about when someone else is in need or when someone asks you for a hand, you know, you can always say, well, I don't have the money right now, but, you know, I can offer this if it's a food thing or if it's something personal. You know, I, I can not give you this to help out because everything is just not always about money. And you will hear me talk more about it and everything. And I love for your support. And I thank you. Love you guys. God bless. Thank you.